No water comes out. You have areas where there's so much water you don't know what to do with it. You turn on the shower, you're not allowed to have any water anymore. I mean, we do a lot of it. Uh, dishwashers, we did the dishwasher, right? You press it. Remember the dishwasher, you'd press it, boom, there'd be like an explosion. Five minutes later, you open it up, the steam pours out, the dishes. Now you press it 12 times. Women tell me, again, you know, they give you four drops of water. And they're in places where there's so much water, they don't know what to do with it. So we just came out with a rag on dishwashers. We're going back to you. By the way, by the time they press it 10 times, you spend more on water and electric. Don't forget, the whole thing is worse because you're spending all that money on electric. So we're bringing back standards that are great. So that was President Trump uh, going off on dishwashers and uh, more accurately, low um, water regulations, essentially. Uh, aimed at saving water. Uh, so now this was at a rally in Michigan. What do you say to that? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's like, again, a string of nonsense. He has obviously never operated a dishwasher in his entire life. In fact, you heard that. Uh, the, the women told me. No, they didn't. No, no, n nobody actually told you about this. It means you, you made it up. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Here's how I know, right? So now I, I'm lucky enough to have had several dishwashers uh, coming standard with the apartments that I've lived in. And so, and, and look, lucky enough to also have one in the house that my wife and I have now. Uh, so look, this used to be a student rental well, where I live now. And in it, it came pre-furnished even after we bought it. Great. I got a free fridge, a washer, dryer, and a dishwasher all with the house. Wonderful, right? I'm a lucky guy. Uh, so now the reason that I bring that up uh, is not like to some sort of weird flex, like, yeah, I got a free dishwasher. No, it's the fact that I do dishes. I use a dishwasher, uh, especially since my wife is, you know, very busy most of the time uh, studying and doing her medical assistant program. And so I do a lot of the chores around the house. So I'm very intimately involved with the dishwasher. <laughs> that Boy, that's a weird thing to say. Maybe you should rephrase that. Uh, I know the dishwasher very intimately. How about that? And so never in the times that I have done dishes have I ever pressed a button and heard an explosion of water. In fact, if I did, if I ever hear an explosion of water after I press the button, I'm calling the dishwasher repair person because that is not a good thing. Uh, <laughs> now that said, to be fair, and I've never, you know, I've never used an industrial dishwasher like a restaurant or a hotel. But maybe, maybe Trump is thinking back to that to, to give him the benefit of the doubt. I know because I'm I'm so completely fair. Uh, Trump owns hotels. It could be an industrial dishwasher that maybe you do, you know, load it up and, and you know, you got to get those dishes done fast because there's people that need them. Press the button. Explosion of water. Five minutes. But for a regular dishwasher, ain't no regular dishwasher getting done in five minutes. At least not any of the ones that I've ever used. So and with that said, President Trump seems to have a big issue with trying to save water and reduce water usage. So, uh, which is ironic because he was also delivering the speech in Michigan. Which is, I think it was Battle Creek. Um, you know, Flint is also in Michigan. Flint has a problem with, yes, having lots of water, but none of which you can actually use because it's poisoned. Just a little bit of irony, like water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Uh, that's what's going on in Flint. Uh, so now that's, uh, that's Trump going off on dishwashers. Now, this is not a surprise. Donald Trump, as of late, has been going off on all sorts of water saving uh, things. In fact, he actually went after recently, and I've got a video of that. Um, actually, it was last week. Sinks and toilets. Take a look. You turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it. And you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. They... Take a shower and water comes dripping out. It's dripping out very 
quietly tripping out. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. 10 to 15 times, as opposed to once. Now, I don't look, I don't know about you, right? Uh, I've got stomach issues, right? In, uh, GI issues. I still don't flush 10 to 15 times. If you do, you might want to see a doctor. You might have an issue. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, so no, of course, aside from Donald Trump's ridiculousness, uh, it goes this this goes back to a very disturbing policy trend. The rolling back of water conservation efforts. As climate change, of course, inevitably gets worse, uh, and some places of the world face more droughts, we are going to have to conserve water. In fact, the EPA, uh, the Trump administration EPA, notes that using water efficiently is crucial because officials in at least 40 states expect water shortages to occur over the next several years. So this is not 2035 or 2050. This is over the next few years, we are going to see massive water shortages. That is a problem. And yet here's President Idiot going out there and saying, we're going to undo this. We're going to have the EPA look at, or the, we're going to have my administration look at it very, very strongly at changing the rules, the regulations. And look, the reason that they're undoing that is not because Donald Trump's having a problem flushing the toilet 10 to 15 times. If so, you should lay off the fast food. Um, no, it's it's Obama and the libs. That's what it is. It, progressives, uh, liberals, uh, and the Obama administration, of course, has put in a lot of these uh, not only water standards, but but you know energy standards for light bulbs. And so anything that Obama and liberals have done, President Trump says, I got to undo it. Got to undo it. Got to own Obama. I can't have him have any sort of legacy. It's the jealousy, man. It's crazy. Uh, and now, again, this is backed also by conservative organizations. Uh, there's a petition recently promoted by FreedomWorks, right, called Make Dishwashers Great Again. Now, that organization, by the way, is uh, part of a network founded by the Koch brothers, one of which, of course, uh, has recently passed away, uh, who, look, they had despised environmental organizations uh, and any sort of regulation. And they had this entire web network of organizations that promote, uh, of course, things that help. At the end of the day, Charles and David Koch uh, or the Koch brothers or, and other billionaires, uh, people who don't believe in regulations, large corporations, fossil fuel companies, et cetera, right? So, I mean, look, uh, how do lower energy standards help Charles and David Koch, for example, the Koch brothers, or the remaining Koch brother? Well, you have more inefficient light bulbs, you use more energy. More energy means using more fossil fuels. Using more fossil fuels means they get more money. I mean, that's pretty simple. Uh, and so that's the energy thing. Uh, and again, with the water standards, somebody's making a profit somewhere by using more electricity, more water, and having less standards. So again, it, it comes down to the money. It comes down to the money. Uh, so it's almost as if, though, these, you know, uh, Trump himself really wants to destroy the world out of spite. Low flow toilets, they still flush, they still work, right? They're just, again, more efficient. The one thing, as Anna Kasparian pointed out uh, on the Young Turks main show, uh, is that showers do have this piece inside that makes it so there's less water pressure. That kind of sucks, but again, it's California. They shouldn't be using a ton of water anyway uh, because of you know the drought conditions there. So I can understand that, even though I also agree with her that it sucks because uh, I just want to get pelted with that water. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, but look, uh, energy efficient light bulbs, again, they're cheaper and they use less energy and they're also still pretty bright. And so Donald Trump, it's weird because he keeps going around saying, I love when things are inefficient. I love wasting. 
and spending more money. It's almost as if he is the living embodiment of F you, I got mine. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.